like, yeah, because I get to be part of the wedding and dress up and everything. And then everybody gets, you know, walks up to you and is like, hey, you're the best man. I'm like, yeah, I'm the best man. And then, yeah, it's cool. And then you remember you have this speech. So, here, here's my speech. Uh, yeah, so, obviously I grew up with Luke's on his little brother, but I wasn't the same age as him, so I don't really know any of his crazy college stories or anything. But I still know stories about him, nonetheless. And with every story comes a moral. So, I would like to uh, share things that Luke taught me how to do from the morals in the stories. <laughs> well, um, first, Luke taught me how to skateboard, which, when I say that, I really mean he just taught me how to ollie, which is like the first trick you learn, is just like a jump. And then time went, time went by, and he went to college, and he came back, and I taught him all the other tricks. <laughs> but uh, that list could go on, and it will, things that he taught me how to do. But more importantly, I'd like to share things he taught me not to do. So, um, firstly, I learned not to almost throw your little brother through the window because dad gets really mad. Uh, I learned not to break my little brother's very first skateboard as soon as he gets it because dad gets really mad. And I do too. And I learned not to draw a tic-tac-toe on the dog with permanent marker because dad gets really mad. And um, I learned not to cut off all the leaves of all the house plants with scissors because mom gets really mad. And I learned not to spray the garden hose through the screen door into the kitchen because mom gets really mad. And I learned not to shake the bird cage with the birds in it so it falls over because mom gets really mad. And the birds get really mad. If you were paying attention earlier at the actual wedding, Father Dick already said this, but he's, uh, I learned not to pretend to trick people at church when they walk by for communion because Father Dick gets really mad. But he's still my joke earlier. And uh, I also learned not to spend all his swim practice uh, sitting at the bottom of the pool doing matrix maneuvers because you're floating while everyone swims above you. Because Cheryl, Cheryl, hey Cheryl, she gets really mad. I think you guess she's been our swim coach, and she's probably going to kill me next time practice. So, uh, but, uh, there we go. Uh, lastly, I learned to do well in math, because if you don't, you have to go to art school. <laughs> but uh, on that note of art, um, yeah, art. Luke, Luke's really good at art, and he has a, he has a, no, seriously, he has an original talent in it, and um, that's something I did learn from Luke. When you know you're good at something and you have a gift in it, to pursue it, and after hard work and perseverance, you'll achieve your goals and be successful, like Luke. And. Uh, I also noticed that Luke really knows how to pick out a girl to marry, Aww. and that girl's Jessica. I'm glad that she's part of our family now, and she's my new sister. And I only hope that that trait of picking out a great girl is hereditary, and I get it. So, <laughs> so on that note, raise our glasses, Thank you. and to Luke and Jessica. Cheers. Cheers.